Hi, welcome. And welcome back. I am Sister with a Purpose. Thank you for all of my likes. All right. Thank you for subscribing to my channel. And thank you for all cash donations. My cash app is Sister with a Purpose. If you feel led, I got it. That shit ain't required. But I'm grateful for everything. All right. Everything. When I say everything, I mean everything. <laughs> all right. Let's go ahead and tap in. Yes. Yes. Divine Spirit. Thank you for clear communication and divine protection. All right, Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine, um, thank you so much for joining me today. So right now, I have my Moonology cards, and I will be giving you an energy update, your energy, all right? So let's talk about it. It is my motherfucking birthday season, all right? Y'all wish a bitch happy birthday. I thank you so much for all of the likes, the wishes, the birthday donations, okay? I'm trying to go out, have a few drinks, even though COVID is in full effect, you know, uh, legally they're saying COVID has ended, so I'm about to get in these scrapes, but still gonna protect myself. That could be a side message for some of you all. Happy birthday. Shout out to all my Geminis. Welcome to motherfucking Gemini season. All right. Where we just stay blessed every day for no reason. Okay. <laughs> all right. Let's see what's up. Ooh. The energy is gaining momentum. So waxing boom. There could be something building up in your subconscious. Crown activation. You could be receiving some downloads from spirit, direct communication, direct link to God. All right. And that energy is gaining momentum behind clarity on a secret or something that may be subconsciously lodged in your mind. Yeah. About, about a disbelief in what you can and cannot do. Divine feminine and masculine believe in the impossible. We have the waxing moon here with the blue moon. So it's like believe in the energy of expanding towards what you thought could never happen. All right. Yeah, that shit is fly. Believing in the impossible. So something you think that could have never happened is happening for you. It's opening up for you. And God is saying, allow me to come in. And reveal to you what I have in store for you. And for some of you all going within and meditating could be very um, crucial at this this particular time. Especially when it comes to love. The love of family. The love of self. The love of uh, romantic uh, partners or partners. Okay. Anything else? Wow. When I said anything else, I literally didn't mean an entire book. But let's get it. Be bold and make the first move. If you are a cancer Capricorn, Libra, Aries, all right? Spirit wants you to be bold and make the first move towards something that you believed could never happen, all right? If you want to see it happen, you got to make that shit happen, babe. Make it happen, Captain. Work through your fears. So Scorpio, Pl uh, Pluto, this very transitional and trans... Um, formative planet and energy so spirit wants you to get out of this conscious state of i think sulking sulking is the word i'm looking for or weeping in an energy of feeling that you may not be good enough Ooh, bitch i got it right in my hand do not let your past hold you back Work through your fears. Don't let your past hold you back. Okay, you could be it's, you could be a Scorpio or your a Scorpio could be your past. Don't let them hold you back, baby. Okay, full moon in Leo. Don't let pride get in your way. And when I just tell you, didn't I tell you that the energy is gaining momentum? The la the first card is the energy is gaining momentum. The last card is emotions are running high. So there could be a Leo Scorpio involved in this somehow. You could be a Leo Scorpio involved in this somehow. But spirit is saying that emotions are running high. All right. Don't let pride get in your way. Stand in the energy of being confident about believing in your impossible. Don't be don't be scared to clear out the cobwebs that lie within in your subconscious. All right, because, you know, Scorpio is a water sign that deals with emotions, dark, deep, heavy emotions. Take that shadow work that this will be considered 
okay? Take the energy and take the messages you receive from your shadow work and allow it to be transmuted into believing in the impossible. All right? we. we this is beautiful. I, I love this. This is why I love these Moonology cards because it's, it's just such a peaceful energy from these cards, you know? Mm-hmm. There could be a Scorpio whose emotions are running high. Oh, but I'm hearing it's because of the transition of the planets. And you know, this is Mercury retrograde, bitch. So you already know, you know what I mean? The past gonna come back during Mercury retrograde. I don't know when it ends, but when that motherfucker ends, okay? We need to be sprinting towards our shadow work. Because the more shadow work you do... um outside of mercury retrograde when mercury retrograde comes you're not going to be in such disarray especially when it comes to communicating because mercury is the planet of communication all right this is beautiful i love this yes so we got south node the energy is gaining momentum that the past could be trying to approach you or stepping forward to hold you back all right. If you're a Leo, spirit wants you to believe in the impossible and don't allow pride to get in your way. Yes, there is a time to be filled with the emotions. Every day you, you must acknowledge them, but you also must sort them out and put them bitches in some fouls. OK, you got to organize those emotions. You got to make your emotions work for you. All right. This is the reading. All is well. All right. Love and light. Beautiful. Um, goddess and gods, our masculine energy, you know what I'm saying? Keep your head up, but you know, eyes up, ears up, stay grounded, stay focused, love and light, Ashe, bye.